Okay, this is a chicken dish, easy chicken dish I make in the crock pot. I'm going to put in four, and these are actually still kind of frozen chicken breasts, but I have it on high, so um, often I put this in in the morning on low, but I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I always do that. Um, just so I put in those four chicken breasts, but you use as many chicken breasts as you want. Washing them down so they're not contaminated. <clears throat> okay, got a frog in my throat as usual. Now I'm going to put a whole bunch of paprika, and all these ingredients are essential, or this can turn out, you know, pretty bland. But I paprika the dickens out of them, the chicken breasts on top. Now I'm going to add about five stalks of celery. You could also add, and I have done this before, added carrots. If you add carrots, you're going to want to slice them up even thinner um, than the celery so that they cook in time and you want to make sure that they're down low, especially if you're cooking on low. Um, I'm cooking on high and it's around noon, but we probably won't eat until six or well, probably six or seven tonight. So I'll kind of check in on it this afternoon and turn it down to low if things look like they're cooked. Um, otherwise, you can start this. Or I used to start it all the time early in the morning on low, and everything would be done. Now I'm going to use a can of cream of celery soup. And all of these you can use, you know, like the healthy request. Which has less fat in it. You just basically want a little, a little sauce with it. But I'm also going to add, and I normally, I used to, when I first started cooking this, cooked it with just two cans of cream of um, celery soup with the celery. But I have decided I, to vary this up. Sometimes I use a cheese. So this is like a cheddar cheese soup. This one happens to actually be a Fiesta nacho cheese soup, which is a little bit different. But you could use like a cheese Whiz or um, you could just actually even grate a little cheese in of your liking. Um, you make this as white of a sauce as you want, which of course then you wouldn't be using a cheddar cheese sauce, you'd be using more some more cream of mushrooms. You could add mushrooms to this too. Then you're going to want to add about a half a cup of white wine. And wine pretty much totally the alcohol content cooks out. So yes, you can, from everything I've read and heard, you can use wine in your cooking for children. So that is all I'm going to do now. And then a little later, I'm going to uh, do just another step or two. So it's as easy as that. We'll catch you later. Okay, this is the chicken. And it is. Okay, now I'm going to add about a cup. Of sour cream into the crock pot. I've turned it down on low now and I'm just going to mix that in with the soups. And about the same time here I'm going to just go ahead and start some linguine. Now I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, there it is. Chicken and the sauce served over a little pasta and some steamed vegetables on the side. Hope you enjoyed. We did.